Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Steph and I haven't done a get ready with me on my channel yet so I thought today would be a good day to start. We all have things that we are insecure about with our looks. For me it is my skin. I have acne. Uh, believe it or not, this is the best it has looked in a long time. Um, if you want to know more about what I've been doing to calm my acne, then drop a comment in the section below and I will be happy to let you know. Um, I also have scars and, uh, as you can probably see, very little eyebrows. That is many years of overplucking. Um, it was fashionable when I was young and uh, so yeah kids don't overpluck because this is what you end up with and they don't grow back so hopefully at some point in the not too distant future I'm looking at getting them microbladed just uh, so I can wake up in the morning and have eyebrows so on that note let's get into this I have already done my skincare um, so firstly I'm gonna pop on my primer I'm just using the ordinary high adherence silicone primer and I just pop this on with my fingers probably a bit too much but hey So I thought for those of you who have the same insecurities, uh, we can uh, go through them together. So the foundation I'm going in with is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. Um, my shade is 2.0 YG, but if you care. <laughs> so I'm uh, just going to, I literally just, I just pop a bit on the back of my hand and I use the Real Techniques 200 brush so uh, let's get some of this on so yeah my skin does make me feel extremely anxious and unattractive um, but I am trying really hard not to uh, let it get to me too much my skin is definitely something that's caused me a lot of anxiety um, in my life and still quite often now when uh, when it's flaring up like I said I've been uh, trying so many different things to get rid of it or at least calm it and touch wood we seem to be working quite well at the moment because uh, my neck's my worst place so I do try and cover that with uh, foundation as much as possible uh, there is only so much that foundation can hide so I've uh, always suffered with quite bad anxiety issues um, and I discovered that makeup especially colourful is uh, a good therapy for when I'm feeling extremely anxious or low I find the whole process of putting my makeup on um, calming initially anyway um, but then adding colour there's, there's something about colour that can really help lift your mood or calm your mood um, I, I tend to head mostly for blues and greens they seem to be my uh, colours of choice so it's the big 4-0 next year scary but we'll deal with it the same way we deal with everything else we just get on with it so for concealer I've got these two Revolution Conceal and Defines I've got the C7 um, which is just for general spot concealing um, nearly run out of it so I don't know how much I'm going to get on and the C6 which I just put a couple of dots under my eye to just hide this <laughs> I just stick a couple of dots 
like that and a couple there that will do and then the c7 just yeah really not much left i think i need to top up um for any of you that do suffer with acne um what foundations and concealers do you use what have you found covers really well um, I'm really going out of my way to buy cruelty free and vegan so if you have any recommendations please do send them my way So I'm just going to uh, use the Zoeva Concealer Buffer, it's 142, just to uh, buff this out under my eyes. I think I need to grab a little mirror here. Just to buff this around here and hide these bags. There goes Poppy. If you can hear the fan going, I'm so sorry, it is boiling in here and uh, it was the fan or the window and I think the fan sounds better than the traffic outside. But yeah, so if you can hear that, I'm really sorry, um, but it's so hot. <laughs> um, right, the powder I'm going to use is this uh, RCMA No Colour Powder. Um, I just tip a little bit, I grab a lid off of something else and I just tip a little bit I don't know if you can see just a bit <laughs> in the lid there um, I do suffer with uh, oily skin my skin is oily and acne prone so I do always need to powder down or I look like a chip fryer by halfway through the day which is not a good look and definitely not an attractive one well I don't think so anyway obviously if uh, if that's what you like good for you but I don't so now the base is done let's move on to the eyebrows um, this is where we uh, we actually create them because uh, I don't have any um, I use the Maybelline tattoo brow and the brush it came with is actually really good so i use that and uh, all i do is get a little bit and i put it in the lid and just kind of flatten both sides just so i get a nice uh, sharp edge there and then goes the fun part You will probably find that my eyebrows change shape on a regular basis just purely because I don't really have anything to follow much. So now I've created the basic shape, I just add some hairs. And a lot of fluff apparently. Why is it things never run smoothly when you want them to? Okay, so there's one eyebrow, just one more to go. <laughs> I am so looking forward to getting them microbladed on so that I don't have to do this every single day because it is 
time consuming for one and I never managed to get the same shape twice and getting them to match is uh, not an easy task so I think that's about as good as they're gonna get today moving on <laughs> I'm going to use the iHeart Revolution milk chocolates. Um, I use this for oh I don't know busy. I use this one for bronzer, just to add a bit of colour back into this face. It's starting to look a bit more alive now. For a long time I've wanted to start my own channel, um, but always worried that maybe I wouldn't be good enough or you know, nobody would want to watch me. Um, but having watched uh, quite a few others, I found a lot of inspiration um, on YouTube. Um, just to name a few, there is uh, Debbie who has Vinyl Beauty, Katie who has Makeup for Lost Time, Nikki Raven, Leora, um, if I remember I will link their channels below um, for you to check out because they are all very inspirational, really lovely, down to earth, just beautiful people and I love watching all of them. Um, they're just really, really nice people. Um, anyway, where was I going with that? No stuff. The trail's gone. The trail's really gone. So one day during this horrible lockdown, I reached out to Debbie from Vinyl Beauty. I hope she doesn't mind me saying this. Um, just to let her know how much she inspired me and how much I'd like to do it myself. And she... And the best piece of advice Debbie gave me was just do it. Just film your first video, put it up, and do you know what I did? And I haven't looked back. It has been the making of me. I love that it gives me more of an excuse to play with colourful makeup, um, even if I've got nowhere to go. I really enjoy it. I love having you guys. Um, to talk to. So I've popped on a bit of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I want to have a play with some greens today. I have a new glitter that I want to try. Um, it's this one here by With Love Cosmetics. Um, so I think it's called Emerald. It doesn't say. I'm sure it's called Emerald but it's uh, this one here anyways. Um, and I'm going to dip into the Ace Beauty Oceanic palette um so there's some really beautiful greens in here i love this palette love it working full time um i don't have time to do all of this in the morning before work so i do tend to go for more neutral looks for work which isn't really me but uh hey ho we we do what we do so i'm gonna dip into the algae and deepen up with some seagrass or turtle. Is the seagrass is a turtle? Not sure yet. We're just going to go with some algae first. Oh, I love this colour so much. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nearly forgot. I'm using the Zoeva Lux Soft Definer 227 brush just to put on the algae colour love this color so much it is such a beautiful color and as well as working full-time I am also studying for a degree in psychology um, I am halfway through I'm doing it part-time and um, so over six years I am halfway through so I have completed two years at level one and a year at level two and it is so fascinating. Um, do any of you study in particular psychology? Um, I really enjoy it. I find uh, I love learning. I'm, I'm not somebody that likes to... I'm not just happy with what I know. I always want to learn more 
and I quite often when I start learning about something end up kind of going down a rabbit hole always wanting to know more I know any of you like that I'm sure it's uh, more common than I think so just next using the 231 Luxe Petite Crease Zoeva brush I am going to dip into turtle I think a bit of turtle so do any of you find yourselves uh, getting interested in a topic and uh, you know you go online and you start researching and it's like it creates more questions for you and you have to know more or is that just me <laughs> um yeah, let me know uh, what kind of things do you guys like learning about oh, i don't know what it is about the color green it just makes me feel so calm and soothed I don't know if that's the right way to explain I'm absolutely rubbish I suck at explaining things green just makes me feel really good I really like it I'm gonna stick with that because that works for me such a beautiful color I do love a good green so I'm just going to use uh, the little 230 Lux Pencil Zoeva brush just to dip into the seagrass, uh, this one here. I'm just going to dip into that a little bit and just bring that one under my eyes because I think that's a nice, uh, a nice colour for there. So I have been dying to try this with Love Cosmetics Glitter. I have popped it into my little Z palette. Um, so yes, this, apparently you don't need any adhesive. You just put it on. Ooh. Okay. They weren't lying. You don't need any adhesive. Oh wow. Ooh, I'm wearing it in my hair now. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> this is really sweet. I like this. Wow, look at that. Look at the shift in that. That is so pretty. Okay, so don't overload the brush because bits fall off. My bad. I like this a lot. Okay, I'm very, very happy with that. Oh my god, that is so pretty. That is off my lash that is so pretty oh wow <laughs> that's my idea of a good glitter wow I didn't need to put anything on no glitter primer just the glitter wow so that's <laughs> this one here from with love cosmetics in emerald wow look at this i'm hoping that this is showing up on camera as good as it's showing up in that mirror there <laughs> oh see this makes me happy it's green and it's glittery <laughs> i love it oh my god i love it Okay, so now I'm speechless. I've forgotten everything I was going to say. I'm just going to have a drink. Try and compose myself. Um, so where was I at? What were we talking about? 
I don't actually remember now. But then that's not actually a new one for me. Oh, forgot to paint my nails. <laughs> I did actually get this out. Little Essence One, Essence Shine Last and Go Gel Nail Polish in. Ah, Take Me to Heaven is the colour. But I forgot it, so you can't see that. I think I'm going to dip into my I Heart Revolution Marshmallow palette and go into marshmallows. So let's put a bit of that on. Yep. Oops, sorry. Yep, that's the right colour. Is that going? I do like to add just a little bit on my nose. And for highlight, I it's probably going to be no surprise because I'm loving this. Um, I'm dipping into the Makeup by Lisa in the shape Pearl. This one here has got some really nice uh, reflex in it. And I really enjoy it. Look. Oh, crikey. Get my hair out of the way so that you can see. Look at that shine. <laughs> you see that shine? Kind of blue, violet shine. I do tend to go a little bit overboard with it because uh, I love it. <laughs> hair out of the way. Look at that. And as per usual, I have gone overboard, but we're going shiny today. <laughs> we are going for it. I'm just going to grab this uh, little Zoeva detail shader just to go in with a little bit of that highlighter on my inner corner. Yes, perfect. Oh, I love it when a good look comes together. And a little bit under the brows. Or a lot of bit under the brows. <laughs> Something like that. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that colour so much. What do you think? <laughs> so I'm... Oh, what am I going to do now? Oh my god, Steph, seriously. It, my brain's just mush today, so apologies. I'm just going to use the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Go Green. Let's plonk that one in. That sounds really rude, sorry. <laughs> I'll give this a go. Yep, I think that green was definitely the right colour for the waterline. Um, so I'm just going to stick on some eyeliner upside down, elf. <laughs> just going to put a bit of that on. Going on quite nicely over this glitter, actually. I wasn't sure what to expect. I'm not going to wing today. Maybe the tiniest one. Yeah, just the tiniest wing today. I don't want to take any emphasis off of that glitter. Why is it one always comes out thicker than the other? Is that just me? Please tell me that's not just me. 
I got so excited about being so glittery that I completely forgot what I was talking about, what I was doing, but it's life. So I'm just going to use the W7 Flirty Eyes Mascara as usual. I don't think W7 are cruelty free, so I am on the lookout for a good cruelty free mascara. It's not too expensive. And so, if you know of any that are, are good, I prefer the slightly more plasticky ones. I know I think I fall into the minority a bit there. I have trouble with mascaras transferring, and this one doesn't, which is why I've kind of stuck with it. So if you know of any good ones that don't transfer and are cruelty free, please let me know because I do struggle with mascaras. Well, finding ones that I get on with. It's not my favorite thing to play with, I do have to admit. So I'm going to attempt to put my lashes on on camera today. This will be a first for me and I'm not great, so please don't look at this as a tutorial. I'm really not that good, but I'm getting there. So I'm going to use the Makeup by Lisa Lashes in the style Raven because I absolutely love these. These have become a firm favourite. Absolutely love them. Really need to get some backups of these because I will be very unhappy when I can't wear them. I'm just using the Eyelure Lash Glue um, just because it's easy and it's the only one. Oh no, I do have a Duo Glue. Um, but I haven't quite got the hang of how long to leave that yet. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Don't come for me. <laughs> um, so what I do, I actually learned this from Nikki Raven. I don't know if she knows this, but she gave me a new lease of life by teaching me how to apply false lashes because I love them, I love the effect of false lashes I think it changes, completely changes up the look it really adds an oomph so I just put a coating on the lash and then leave that to set and while that is going tacky I get a little bit and I place it over the eyeliner I think I'm running out of this that is not good I think I need to get some more glue <laughs> And this is where, because I'm on camera, it goes horribly, horribly wrong. I didn't leave it long enough to go tacky, I don't think. I'm just using my tweezers to squish them to my own lashes. So these are the lashes in Raven from Makeup by Lisa. I love these so much. They're so fluffy, so comfortable. So for the lippy, I'm just gonna put on this uh, Huda Beauty liquid matte in the shade Girlfriend probably should have used a lip liner but I don't have one that goes with this shade oh, it's off my teeth now uh, the biggest problem I have with this is it getting on my teeth when I'm putting it on um, so I do have to check the teeth out after applying this 
So I'm just going to go and grab a couple of the snakes to introduce to you guys. If you don't like snakes, you might want to click out now. So I will be right back with you with one of the little scaly babies. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to introduce you to Kahuna. This is, she, she's so beautiful. She's a royal python. Kahuna is such a little sweetheart. You're a good girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. This is my beautiful little baby. Do you approve of the look? No? I don't think she does. Yeah, she's uh, she's a little beauty. I was having a think about doing a makeup inspired by my pet snakes. So if, uh, if you'd like to see that, then let me know. Because uh, I think you'd like to come and join in again, wouldn't you? Yes. So this is Kahuna. Kahuna, meet your new friends. And last to say hello today, this is Tabo. Tabo is also a royal python, just a different colour morph. <laughs> he doesn't like to sit still, do you baby? So yeah, this is Tabo, say hi. Say hi. He's not interested. <laughs> so, you want to meet your new friends? Then you want to meet your new friends. So, Tebo, look, look at the camera. I think he's a little bit camera shy. <laughs> this is Tebo. Hello, gorgeous boy. Should we hold you so that I can see you? <laughs> yeah. You're not a camera lover, are you? There you go. Show them how beautiful you are. You're a very handsome boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Say hello to your new friends. So I'm gonna take this little camera shy boy to bed and I will be back with you. So that was two of the scaly babies and it from me for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Do let me know if this is something you'd like to see again, get ready with me, um, or if you'd like to see more of the snakes. So if you've enjoyed this, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So until next time, it's been lovely having you with me and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.